Yo guys, how you doing today? Welcome back. So today we're doing something a little bit different. As you've probably seen by the title on the thumbnail, I'm going to show you like a guide for the Tidus Fear Grid. So I'm going to talk through, I think there's five different routes I've got, of just how to make it the game fun for you, or if you just want to play for the game normally, or you want to make, you want to just go do something different, you know. So the first one's going to be the typical route that everyone normally takes with Tidus in the first the first playthrough. So as you can see I am currently I'm taking the typical route. So you start here. And so you go all the way up here, you go get your haste and then you follow then you go get these these here and then you follow it around. And I have never seen where people go down. They always go around and then follow it around all the way up here and then go all the way up here and then you come down. And yeah, you get stuff like um, haste, you get time magic, these are going to be the strengths I'm mentioning right now. So by following this route, you get like time magic, so you get haste, slow, hastiga, sloga, stuff like that. And you also get delay magic, uh, delay abilities or delay magic, whichever you prefer, where you can delay attack your the creatures that you're fighting and make an extra turn for yourself or your partners that you have at the time but with this one the main reason why they have a typical route for Tidus is the whole um, agility spheres he's very good at hitting like wolves and very quick acting uh, monsters and stuff like that that's what his that's what his class is it's like a I don't even know what the type of class it is it's like a very fast moving fighter it's not like the Auron where he's a tank bruiser kind of thing, you know, where he's very high attacking and very tanky. Uh, Tidus is more just like a very fast guy and he just smacks people about kind of thing. So, but the weaknesses with this one is that it's not, there's not loads of strength or HP spheres for it. So, if you go up against uh, like a very harmed enemy, that's going to be very hard hitting and takes a lot of abuse. You're gonna die to it very quickly unless you got Orin on your team. Uh, and with this, he has no offensive magic, I believe, not until very late on. Uh, no offensive magic and no supportive and healing magic. Unless you class the time magic as support magic, then I guess you can. Uh, but apart from that, I think that's everything with the typical route. Now, I'm gonna go and take you to the tank slash hard hitter Tidus route. And you're going to be like, okay, this one's weird. So you go up here, you follow the typical route. And you can stop here and go and get extract power. And then go through there. But then you're missing two valuable uh, ability spheres. Not ability spheres, sorry, nodes. There's four empty nodes whilst you're going down to the HP part. So what I suggest is, carry on get up, get haste. Get haste. Honestly, haste in this game is massive. You're going to see me use it all the time through my Let's Plays. If you're still watching them, you know, you'll see. You'll see. And then just grab that strength sphere there. And then you go down here, grab the ma max MP, grab the HP. And then you go here. And you're still going to get that HP there anyway. And then you're going to follow it round. And I believe with this one. Yeah, you go this way, do you? Yeah, you go, you go this way. You go left from guard. And then you go round. You're going to be collecting all this kind of stuff there. And with that, with the tank slash hard hitter, as it says, you're going to be grabbing haste. What's well, going to be massive for you because you're just going to be tanky and hard hitting. So, like I say, the strengths for this one is going to be a lot of strength spheres. There's, I think there's a lot of strength spheres that are going to make you very hard hitting. A lot of HP spheres. So you're going to be able to take a lot more abuse, but you're going to have to be able to grab a lot of defensive spheres as well. Uh, break skill sphere, so you got power break and skill and stuff like that. So, if you do have like an armored creature, you think you can use power break on it and it will make its defense super low. And then you got provoke skills, so I believe with this route, you get threaten and you can threaten all of them and then you provoke every single monster you're up against, what's pretty cool. The weaknesses with this though is not many other spheres, no offensive magic, no supportive magic. And no healing magic. And no time magic if you avoid going the hasty, ha haste. And you will need, 
at one point, you will definitely need the piercing ability on the weapon for th to be able to maximize this route completely. It's just so you can kill like the hard hitting ones that can take a lot of abuse. So that's the one for the hard hitting and the uh, basically tanker bruiser. And then now I'm going to take you to another route. So if I just quickly go back to where I was. And then this one's going to take a bit of a while. These, these next three are going to be like wow. Okay these, these are going to be interesting. These are, these are going to make it interesting for you going through. If you want to challenge. So the, the first two I would say are kind of like more like you can know they're more easier than these ones are going to take you. So this one this is going to be the Black Mage Titus. Yeah you heard me Black Mage Titus. So that means straight away you get down here you grab Jinx you're going to go there you're going to grab Lancey and then you're going to go grab Scan and then what you're going to do is from that actually no you won't grab Scan actually I do apologize you're going to go up here and you're going to grab Dark Attack instead. And then you're going to go down, you're going to go here, and then this is where this one takes a lot of issues now. Because you're also going to get extract mana. But then you're going to miss out on about what? I want to say you start there, so you're missing out on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 nodes that are purely empty. So you're going to be losing out on a lot of HP, mana, defense, attack, stuff like that. And then you want to go grab blizzard, fire, thunder, water. All that kind of stuff. And then you want to follow the normal route for the Black Mage. And I see I've got Lulu there. And you're just going to be going through like usual. And you'll eventually just get loads of magic power and stuff like that. But this would mean that you grind early on a lot. At Besaid and at Kelika. So, yeah. So the, the, the strengths of this is I think it's self-explanatory. A lot of offensive magic. A lot of MP. A lot of magic defense. And a lot of magic power. And you can branch off into white magic, so as you come a bit further down here, you can, instead of going and getting fire, you can go, right, you know what, I want to go white mage, I need a bit of healing for myself. You can go back up here, and you can grab life, and just carry on through, and eventually you'll come to, like, cure and stuff like that. Actually, I don't know, where is it? Uh, you can grab, like, yeah, you can grab life, and stuff like that. It's, honestly, yeah. <laughs> And then I believe you come down here and then I think that's cure it. There you go, yeah, that's cure it. So yeah, you can branch off into that. So and the weaknesses, not a lot of HP, not a lot of strength. No offensive like abilities really. And no time magic, unfortunately, because you have to follow the typical route for that. So the black magic one, that one's done. And I'm assuming that you already know what the white magic one's gonna be like already. So yeah, you can like I say normal, back down here. You go grab scan this time and then go grab extract ability. Extracting the ability is very big in this. But you're still going to be losing out on a lot of empty nodes again. Maybe like 9 again. But this time you are going to get an extra strength plus 3. But you also want to get a sooner and cure. But you are going to get that strength 3 points. So that's massive for you. That is, that is huge. So yeah. And then obviously the usual. Go down, grab no frost, all that lot. And then you go down here. And then the same again, you can branch off into black magic, or you can carry on with the white magic, and self-explanatory again. A lot of MP, a lot of magic defense, supporting healing magic, pray for an all-healing ability, and yeah. No strength, no, no HP, no offensive abilities, no time magic once again, so it's the end of the white magic one. But this next one, right, this next one, I actually thought about, I'm, I'm thinking about doing this one. This one... It's going to be a lot of fun, I think, if you want to experiment and make sure that you can power up your guys very like early on compared to usual. So get this right. You want to go Thief Tidus. So what I suggest for this one is you follow the typical route. You go up, you grab strength and all that lot, and you, you get to Provoke. And you stay where you are here with Provoke, right? And you go down... And you miss out on maybe like five nodes. But yeah, it's five empty nodes. And then you come down and you grab the use and steal. But you're going to lose out on a lot there. And then what you want to do is, is once you get to use, you can obviously grab that there. And you want to go up. You want to grab the HP, strength, st uh, HP again. And you get a lot of agility going this way. And you've also kept yourself with, you know, the typical route. So you've also picked up a bit of this stuff already. 
But if you wanted, and you wanted to be a lot harsher on yourself and save up a bunch of spheres, you stay, you go back to where you started, and you come down and you wait there. Wait there until you get to me and high road and you defeat the chocobo wheat here. And you've got to make sure you get a level one key sphere. So you can empty, so you can you know open this up there. And then you go through there and you have loads of spheres now. You can either branch down into this area and maybe go get some white magic and stuff like that. But still, it's a very good one, I feel. And and the, and the strength of, of this, you can now use steel and use and you can steal a lot of stuff here, young, like petrified grenades after me and high road operation. And it's very good for customization. Early on. I think it's the earliest that you can possibly do customization with Kimari if you're taking this route as well. And you can get haste early on by following the typical route. Uh, very high agility and evasion. Uh, and you can just, like, you know, get an early, like, chunk of 1k HP early on as well. Because you're grabbing the ones from the typical route and then you go here, you're getting up with a decent size amount. And I think it's still going to be the same, you just got more abilities to use. So it's a very, very good one to go. But, the big issue with the Thief Titus is there's no strength early on. HP becomes scarce after these first couple ones. Only haste is time magic and then there's no offensive abilities, no support and healing magic. But, there is the option to go and, and, and like, you know, go down into them. Because you've got them, them options now with the Thief Titus one. But, it really depends on what you want to do. For me personally, these, these could be a lot of fun. And I plan on experimenting myself offline with a lot of other stuff. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you've uh, enjoyed the information. I may have missed some things out. If I have, just let me know in the description below. and well, In the comments below, sorry. And, yeah, make sure you have fun. Enjoy the game. Enjoy the Let's Play. And I'll catch you again later. Bye!